Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, this is Tuck Notes, Beginner's Doc Talk. I am going to be doing a talk on Palantir. What is Palantir? What is good about Pal what's bad about Palantir? What is good about Palantir? Should I invest in it? Should I not invest into it? So, what is Palantir? It's data science. If you've watched Terminator, I think of the beginning of Skynet. If you remember that. Honestly, I don't, but, uh, there's data overload. I have so much information everywhere. It's a lot to make sense of it. So let's take the military. There's satellites up in the air. There's air, there's, there's, uh, planes flying fixed big, big, uh, what do they call them? UA, UAVs. And then there's things on the ground, our multi-rotor UAVs. And then these they're, they're coming out with these high altitude UAVs. So there's a lot of things up there trying to collect data. And, you know, like skylight, I mean, s s satellites. Um, there's various upper, various upper, operatives uh on the ground on the ground there's various operatives multi-communication it's impossible to make sense in real time so this is where palantir comes in in commercial uh applications palantir could level the surface because a factory worker this is the bit no, no, no let me say it right in, pa in commercial applications, Palantir could level the surface between a factory worker and a PC PhD researcher. Data science, aka AI, is a doing all the heavy lifting, just giving relevant information to us humans. The alg algorithms, if you think of them, do not react dynamically, right? In YouTube, if you write a comment in my section and I blocked the certain keywords in a comment that was written by a scammer or a spam, uh, YouTube will detect those words and then take them out. But it doesn't do it all the time. And so what I'm going to say is scamming is bad because they will keep doing this. They will keep changing their pattern so it doesn't become detectable for the algorithm and that's how they get away with it so the whole cycle is repeated what's needed ai needs to work ai needs to write the algorithm to react dynamically not humans because we can't catch up with that we're not we don't our brains don't have it so why don't i like palantir as a business model i can't understand what goes on behind the scenes there's no information out there. It's not on YouTube. No one's talking about it. It's high class secret information. Palantir can't scale easily. Every application they have is customized to a solution. So it's not going to grow unless there's something that's going to change. So there needs to be a, basically a, a total adjustment market like uh, i mean i don't know um three wait which is a total adjustable market or tam is you know like big organizations could use them but um i'm not sure or know how many of them are there and how many would need them uh the good things about palantir is it's uh, it's uh, it's taken, uh, 17 years of government money, uh, to develop this technology. And now you can use it to invest into, which is rad. Uh, it pr produced consistent revenue year after year. There's no competition. There's no other company with higher clearance than Palantir into the defense section of the U S uh, Palantir's increased revenue from 
uh, commercial space. It's from commercial space of people. So if your product's good, you don't need to have a sales team, right? Like Tesla. Also, mainly, keep they keep their main lead of guys, and they only hire technical research people. Um, for Tesla, like take you think of well, let's say wrapping up. I intend not to ask what can go wrong, but say if it does work out. How will the world look like? What will the world look like? For Tesla, we know the simple answer. It's all laid out that what the world will look like. With Palantir, I see this technology then wildly adopting to individuals. And I don't know the rest of what I wrote because I couldn't understand what he was saying and it was in another um, dialect. So. Anyways, I hope this was a uh, you know informative for you guys, um, and uh, it was for me. Uh, you can check me out on Instagram and on at Tucker Mello. My blog is hashtag Tuck's blog, and I'm on YouTube at Tuck Notes. So check me out. Talk, tell other people about it, um, and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.